Good afternoon, I'm Riza Diaz. This is One News Now. Total COVID-19 cases in the country have surpassed the 80,000 mark with over 2,000 new cases reported today. Data from the health department show that there are currently over 52,000 active cases in the country. 39 new casualties from the virus were also recorded, bringing the country's death toll to nearly 2,000. Now, some good news though, nearly 400 individuals have recovered from the virus. There are now over 26,000 recoveries as of today. Now, despite the warning from the government prohibiting mass gatherings for tomorrow's SONA, youth groups are determined to hold their own protest action in UP Diliman. Lynn Olivario is on the ground to give us the latest. Lynn, what can we expect for tomorrow? Riza, despite restrictions on protest actions for tomorrow's State of the Nation address, youth groups say they will not be silenced. Over at the Kabataan Party List headquarters in Quezon City, several youth groups worked on painting placards with messages calling for mass testing, the junking of the anti-terror law, and no to charter change, just to name a few. The group is also preparing an effigy in the form of a coronavirus, with President Rodrigo Duterte's face on it. Kabataan is also preparing to present the four reasons why they think President Duterte should step down from his post. The group listed his alleged corruption, anti-people policies, allegiance to China, and his so-called fascist regime. The youth group also noted other issues such as lack of concrete plans on the resumption of classes this year amid the pandemic. Raul Manuel, convener of the Youth Act Now Against Tyranny, says they've been getting individual reports of students who have resorted to selling nude photos just to be able to buy a laptop to allow them to participate in online learning. Meanwhile, the College Editors Guild of the Philippines expressed dismay over what they called a curtailment of press freedom in the non-renewal of ABS-CBN's franchise. The National Union of Students of the Philippines assured the public that they will observe physical distancing and other necessary health protocols as they have done in previous rallies. Riza, around uh, 50 youth groups will assemble tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. in Filcoa before heading here in UP Diliman where protests are allowed to be staged. Their program will only last until 12 p.m. Riza. Thank you. Lena Navarro, you're reporting live from UP Diliman. Now here are other stories we're keeping our eyes on. The Trade Department has temporarily suspended accepting online applications for small business loans. The department says that this is after loan requests exceeded budget. DTI says the suspension is only temporary until they are able to source new funding. The Bank of China expects the Philippine economy to recover in the fourth quarter after fallout in the first three months due to the COVID-19 pandemic. However, the government's economic cluster sees gross domestic product shrinking by as much as 3.4% this year with a rebound set for 2021. And the Games and Amusements Board has given assurance that all 12 PBA teams can resume practice next week. The board says a joint administrative order detailing guidelines on the resumption of practice will be released tomorrow. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World Online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News Live anytime, anywhere. I'm Riza Diaz. We are One News.